Welcome to another edition of Kenworth Connects. Whether you're a driver, a dealer, an owner, or an enthusiast, this show is all about connecting you to everything Kenworth. I'm Ryan, and today's topic is going to be integrated powertrain. So if you follow Class 8 OEMs in the news or on social media, the chances are you've heard this term thrown out. But what exactly is an integrated powertrain? And more importantly, why should you care? So we'll dive into all of that in just a second. But first, I want to address a few questions that came to us when we announced this topic. So the first question is, why is the MX-13 available up to 530 horsepower in Europe, but only available up to 510 horsepower in the US? And to answer that question, I want to explain that the duty cycle between a European engine and a North American engine is very different. So those engines are going to, going to see very different lives. And because of that, we have to rate them differently. So we designed each MX engine with a B10 life of 1 million miles. And what that means is that 90% of all MX engines are going to make it to at least a million miles before ever needing a major overhaul. And in order to provide all of our ratings with that B10 life, we limited the, the North American version to 510 horsepower. So the next question is, does PACCAR have any intentions or plans on offering a larger, specifically 15 liter MX variant? And the answer to that question is we do not. So what we have found is that the MX-13 with up to 510 horsepower and 1,850 foot-pounds of torque is more than enough for the vast majority of our customers. That being said, if you do need that extra horsepower, we do currently and will continue to offer the Cummins X15 15 liter engine. Okay, so without any further ado, I would like to welcome our first industry expert to the show. So Brian manages a team at the Packard Technical Center, which is, ensures not only the MX engine, but the Packard power, the entire Packard powertrain meets and exceeds our customers' expectations. So Brian, welcome to the show. Thanks, Ryan, I'm happy to be here. All right, Brian, so as I mentioned, we're talking about integrated powertrain. Can you explain what, what an integrated powertrain is exactly, and what are some of the benefits of specking an integrated powertrain versus mixing and matching components? Yeah, absolutely. So an integrated powertrain is really a complete powertrain. So we're talking about the engine, the transmission, and the axles. There's several benefits to this integrated powertrain compared to the standard mix and match. So in the integrated powertrain, each of those components, so engine, transmission, axles, they've been designed to work seamlessly together. And that means each component is building on and complementing the features and benefits of the other components. And in that way, we can maximize the performance and ultimately the efficiency of that complete system. Okay, so if you would, um, would you mind diving into a little bit more detail on what exactly you mean by each component complements um, the characteristics of other components? Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think the best example is the relationship between the engine and the transmission. So the MX engine is really the heart of the powertrain. It's what's moving the vehicle down the road. Now that relationship with the transmission is such that uh, we've taken advantage of the sweet spot of the engine. So the 12-speed Packard automated transmission is looking at the torque curve and finding the most efficient points of that engine to adjust the shift strategies to make sure that the, the entire vehicle is constantly in that sweet spot. So basically I'm saying that we've, we've optimized the way the transmission shifts, the way the vehicle drives to take advantage of the most efficient areas of the torque curve on the engine. Okay, so if I'm understanding you correctly, if I were to spec a truck and mismatch an engine with a transmission that's not necessarily designed around that engine, that not only would I potentially be leaving some efficiency on the table, but also some performance as well, correct? Yeah, you are right. So the typical approach has been to mix and match, and sometimes customers have just chosen the specs that they've always had. But if you really want to have the best possible efficiency and the best possible performance, you really ought to consider a fully integrated powertrain. Okay, so that makes sense. 
Um, another thing that's constantly on the forefront of our customers' minds, and I'm sure our viewers as well, is drivability. So what does an integrated powertrain do for drivability? Sure. So it's true that you often need to trade off efficiency for drivability or efficiency for performance. But in our case, you can have your cake and you can eat it too. So as an example, have you ever driven a AMT equipped truck and felt like it took too long to shift or maybe it shifted too early lugging down the engine? Those are all examples of poorly integrated powertrains. And in our case, you'll get into one of these and it will feel smooth and it will feel efficient. And that's because we've optimized the entire system to not only have good fuel efficiency, but to give you excellent drivability. Okay, awesome. That makes a lot of sense. And I mean, it's, it's very apparent why you would want a transmission and an engine that are designed to work together. Uh, we still haven't touched on the last part of the Packard powertrain, which is the Packard 40K rear axle. So Brian, you want to talk a little bit about the, um, the Packard 40K? Sure, so like you said, this is the, the third piece of the trifecta. Now, the 40K axle is optimized for line haul over the road on highway applications. And the degree of optimization on our axle is less than what we just talked about in terms of the engine to the transmission. But there still are several design features that we've integrated into the axle to ensure the most efficiency and the best fuel economy. So for example, the gear set is optimized for reliability and efficiency. Now, when we compare our system to like a, what I'm saying is a 12 speed AMT with our rear axle ratio, the cruise speed is just like that of a direct drive transmission with a very low rear axle ratio. So what does that mean to you? Well, that means that you're going to get that same fuel economy benefit, but have a lot less stress on the drivetrain. And by the drivetrain, I'm talking about the clutch and I'm talking about the, the drive shafts. Another feature, awesome. <laughs> sorry, another feature is that we use a through shaft pinion gear. Now this eliminates uh, some of the internal gear meshes and that further optimizes the efficiency. And in addition, we have some small details like laser welding to eliminate some of the fasteners. And in most cases, those fastener heads are churning through the oil and that creates friction. And so by eliminating those fasteners, we eliminate that friction and we pass that benefit onto the driver in better fuel economy. So it's lots of small details like that that give you weight savings and the best fuel economy. Yeah, that's an excellent point that all of those small things add up to be a big thing, right? So that extra efficiency in the axle and the entire pack car powertrain um, really add up. So I really appreciate you taking the time to explain what an integrated powertrain is and all of the benefits that come with specking an integrated powertrain. So thanks, Brian. Uh, with that, I would like to introduce our next industry expert, uh, Brad Zapolowski from Eden. So he is our OEM account manager. And for those of you that don't know, when we set out to offer the Packard 12 speed transmission, we partnered with Eden to offer what we consider the best transmission in the industry. So Brad, appreciate you being on the show. Hey, Ryan, I'm really happy to be here. Thank you. Awesome. So Brad, um, would you mind giving us a rundown really quick of what sets the Packard 12 speed apart from other automated transmissions in the field? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, first of all, the Packard transmission is the latest generation of automated transmissions. Um, it was designed from the ground up to be a purely automated transmission. Um, it's designed to work flawless behind the MX engine series as well. So we actually embedded engineers at Packard to make sure we could do the best integration we could with the engine and transmission. Um, the transmission is dynamically looking at external conditions to determine shift points to keep that engine in its operating torque band. Um, and that optimizes the engine operation. So we have bobtail detection so we can tell when the trailer is loaded, unloaded. We also look at throttle demand and torque and grade to make sure we're always optimizing the, the engine's performance. All right, I'm very glad you brought up that point because I actually had the opportunity to do a back-to-back -back comparison um, with the Packard 12 speed. And that was one thing I was very impressed with is how well it handled dropping a trailer 
and running Bobtail and how not only how dynamic it was and how quickly it reacted, but how well it handled driving around Bobtail. Um, that is something we've received a lot of feedback on and I know that's something a lot of other automated transmissions in the industry really struggle with. Yeah, Ryan, I appreciate that feedback. That's great. Uh, that's one of the great advantages of having embedded engineers, right? To work close together, taking advantage of that bobtail detection. Um, it's, it, it, it really is noticeable and it's, it adds up to a better driver, driver experience. So uh, another advantage of the Packard transmission is you don't have to have multiple service tools. Uh, the Save Davy that you're used to working with today and the MX engines works with the Packard transmission. So the good news is if you do have to service the Packard transmission, you can take it to any dealer out there. That's a Packard, that's a Packard dealer. Awesome, so we've alluded to um, the success that we've had with the, the Packard 12-speed transmission, uh, but to kind of paint a picture, uh, one statistic I'd like to throw out is that on over-the-road applications, over 60% of the T680s that we sell are spec with the Packard 12-speed transmission by choice. So overwhelming acceptance rate there. Um, it's been a great transmission, but earlier this year, we have announced that we would that we are expanding the Packard 12-speed transmission into other applications as well. So Brad, do you have a little bit more detail on that? Yeah, Ryan, I really appreciate it. It's, it's been a great success in the line haul market, but, but um, Kenworth, guys don't just drive um, in line haul applications, right? So we wanna make sure we expand the portfolio of uses for the Packard transmission to go where, where other customers are driving it. So we did release the extended application coverage for light vocational. Also some of those on highway applications that are not necessarily efficiency driven, but maybe performance or productivity driven. So we did release a new shift cal. What it does is improve acceleration times up to 20% and also improves performance on grades. So you can maintain a higher speed on grades. So both of these are gonna help those guys and girls that are looking for more performance to get there or more productivity to get there. Wow, 20%, that's, that's a huge improvement. Uh, so Brad, we're getting close to being out of time here. Um, what would you want our viewers to know? What else do they need to know about the Packard 12-speed transmission? Yeah, so if you're looking at spec a new transmission, definitely check out the Packard transmission. Um, not only is it the lightest Class 8 transmission on the market, um, but it, it also is all aluminum, uh, coolless, comes with an 8-bolt PTO standard, and that helps increase resale value. Um, with a 750,000 mile loop change interview, that's maintenance free for most first owners. Also, the clutch is maintenance free. So in the past, if you had to grease your clutch every 50,000 miles, that's gone. It's maintenance free for life. It, all in all, it just decreased the cost of ownership of the product. So what else could you want? Brad, really appreciate you taking the time, being on the show. Um, again, great information. And then thanks again, Brian. Um, with that, I wanna thank everybody for joining in. And until next time, let's stay connected.